Hi. Today I'm trying to answer a typical question about plastination and this question is um, what are the different types of sheet plastinates and why do they exist and what is suitable for what purpose. So the typical exhibition specimen is the so-called tissue tracing sheet plastinate in acrylic embedding. So what you see here, um, there's a specimen in the middle as acrylic on both sides. The specimen is protected from UV light, from scratches, from anything. So whatever happens is only happening to the acrylic. The acrylic can be polished, um, it can be even removed and replaced. So whatever happens, the specimen inside is safe and uh, for, for literally hundreds of years. This specimen or this technique is used mainly for exhibition purposes, for collections or if you want it for decoration. Um, then there is the so-called sheet plastinate without acrylic and the sheet without acrylic is as you see uh, just the plain slice usually in a rectangular form not necessarily and it has a very clear vision of finest details in the specimen you see the hair roots here you see cartilage blood vessels all finest details usually used for teaching but also for research and whenever you want to see all the fine details. So both are the same specimen inside. This one is mainly for exhibition. You can put it upright and place it somewhere. While this one is kept in a shelf or in a, in a, in a box or in a, a bag and you take it out and use it for hands-on instruction for example with the students. And the last one is the selective impregnation specimen mainly used for the horse hoof and you see the difference here um, a much stronger contrast here of the tendons mainly but also the cartilage but at the same time less detail about whatever blood vessels fine nerves and finest stru structures usually these are not cut in a rectangular shape but as small as possible because most people want to have them in their coat bag or in a jacket um, um, bag and and they want to use it for showing it to somebody uh, and explain what the anatomy looks like in general. So I hope I could make this clear. More videos will follow and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.